American Mustangs and Wild Burrows are being held for ransom. Government officials, armed with a revised statute, are threatening to kill as many as two-thirds of all the remaining wild-born Mustangs if they do not get more money to care for them. Just over a hundred years ago, more than a million wild horses roamed the West. Today, less than 15,000 remain on 34 million acres of public land. Where did the rest go? Since 1971, more than 200,000 have been rounded up by the federal agencies responsible for their welfare. Most have been killed. Many died horrible deaths in slaughterhouses and then sold for meat. More than 30,000 survive today in holding pens awaiting the bureaucrats' decisions. Their fate is more than uncertain. For the majority, it will most likely be death unless we, the American people, can stop the slaughter and the BLM roundups. We must insist that the 1971 Wild Free Roaming Horses and Burrows Act is followed as it was intended. In 1971, the Wild Free Roaming Horses and Burrows Act declared America's wild horses a living symbol, protecting them from capture and death. The act gave authority over the horses to the BLM and the Forest Service, stipulating that excess horses shall be culled from the herd and sold for adoption. In the 30 years that followed, however, more horses were taken from the wild than could be adopted. As a result, the facilities became overrun and financially troubled. But in 2004, a radical solution to the wild horse problem was proposed. Montana Senator Conrad Burns slipped an 11th hour amendment into the 2005 Appropriations Bill, effectively ending 33 years of federal policy protecting wild horses and burrows. The writer authorized the BLM to sell without limitation wild horses and burrows that are over 10 years old or who have been passed over for adoption at least three times. Under this amendment, such horses are now available for slaughter. Horse lovers fought for the bill's retraction, and finally in 2007, the last of the American slaughterhouses were closed. But the horses remain at risk. Every day, Mustangs are trucked across America's borders for slaughter in Canada and Mexico. Three decades after the Mustang gained protection from slaughter, the management of the wild horse remains as complex as the public land it inhabits. Some say the Bureau of Land Management is pursuing a policy of extinction with an aggressive roundup campaign. Observers say that it has become a brutal process that has killed and lamed horses and foals and rips apart family groups. The rounded up horses and burrows are supposedly destined for adoption but there are too many in captivity for the market to bear. More than 30,000 pointlessly detained horses are the ones that BLM says it can no longer afford to maintain. This is a much bigger story than just horses. It's about the public lands and who they really belong to. 